Welcome to Dabware. I'm Polecat, and today I stopped by a dispensary in Redwood Valley, California, called Mecca. Uh, the employees there were awesome. Loved the way they had everything set up. They were allowed to open it and let you smell it for the ones that had a sample for them to do that with. The biggest problem I have with all of the stuff that I purchased there today is none of it has the harvest date on it. Earlier when we was in there, I showed you guys this bag and it didn't have a harvest date. Nothing in the state of California at this moment from that dispensary had the harvest date on it. Um, I was able to look at some of the Arcanas while I was in the dispensary and smell them. I wasn't able to look at any of the redwood remedies they do not give them a sample jar for you to be able to do that with and that that really needs to be on the grower the dispensary should not have to take part of their inventory and use it for the sample for you to look at and smell that's really crusty of the grower <clears throat> so to be honest with you since they're not even that confident in their stuff to provide a sample it's probably going to be the normal dispensary trash, as I call it. But we're going to find out. Let's go ahead and rip open this OC Tang and see what it smells like. It's got a nice citrusy kind of smell to it. Let's take a look at this, bud. All of this is outdoor grown. What that means is it's what they consider sun grown or whatever. So this flower isn't supposed to, it isn't going to be as appealing to the eye as like indoor or light depo. And that means light deposition. Um, even for an outdoor bud, that does not really look that great. So I hope that this can show up on this camera really good but that that's not the most fantastic looking outdoor flower partner would you agree oh okay i mean is that is that it smells decent it has a great smell but it's not the most appealing to the eye would you agree for an mm -hmm. outdoor flower <clears throat> it's a little airy too a little mushy a little airy a little mushy mm-hmm just so y'all know i got another pot snob sitting off camera all right i'm not really looking forward to smoking that about to do the review on redwood remedies oc tang had to move locations to do the review on this one my homegirl says she was not partaking in any more trash for the day. So, let's fire it up and see what it tastes like. Yeah, super flat. Doesn't doesn't have a really clean ash on it either. So that was probably growed in soil. It is definitely not the most horrible product that I've tried, but it definitely is not a pleasant smoke at all. It's, it's, ugh. the more I hit it, the worse it gets. 
Well, I already knew from the look of this flower and the fact that it was, you know, an outdoor flower that was packaged this year tells me that it was definitely grown last year. So I, I really had no expectations from this whatsoever, but the whole purpose of this is to, you know, try it. All right, Redwood Remedies OC Tang completely failed all sorts of tests. It didn't look appealing. The smell was, you know, normal. Uh, the flavor was absolute horrid. Um, like I said, wasn't the worst thing I ever smoked. Definitely wasn't the best. Okay, so we're going to go over the Runts and Pure Michigan Cross by Redwood Remedies. I would definitely say I'm picking up more on the runt smell of that one. I don't know what pure Michigan strand is or anything, but that bud structure right there definitely screams a runt bud structure to me. So I really hope that this flower I, I, I'm not a big fan of the smell of that one. Redwood Remedies runts crossed with pure Michigan. Now I'm going to assume that this is the strand name here on the top. Um, Cadillac, Rainbows, Black Label. I, I, I don't know. There's just so much on all of this shit. You don't know what the fuck it is. So let's fire it up and see what it tastes like. This tastes exactly like the other one did. <coughs> yeah, that that doesn't have a very clean ash on it either. It tastes almost identical to the OC Tang. But this one is whatever that is, runs crossed with pure Michigan. Oh. I already know it ain't gonna get no better. Oh yeah, that's horrible. I, I I personally cannot believe these people grow this stuff. Look, as you see, it just went in the jar, people. It went right back into its jar. Close that thing up. We will be putting all that in the trash. We have one more to go through. It's the one that I'm, you know, looking the most forward to trying by that company. It was harvested last year. None of it's going to taste good. It's all horrible. You do not take anything past six months of freshness, harvest date, and put it into a package to sell on any dispensary shelf. My personal opinion, the dispensary, it needs to start carrying better products. Like they should know what they're carrying what they're selling <laughs> okay so the next one we're going to look at is more cowbell done by redwood remedies as well they don't really put a terpene profile or anything on none of their stuff either 
out here because you know california the further along its legalization has come the least amount of information you have to put on there well that one's got a a good smell it's like a lemonine um Yeah, definitely like a lemonine kind of smell and not super bad, not super lemon zest. Like this smells lemonine like it would be natural for the plant to be producing this lemonine. Um, I guess you would say reminds me kind of a little bit of like a train wreck kind of smell. What do you think there? <clears throat> I like the density. Yeah, the density is not bad on that one at all. Yeah, it's got that pungent, trainy smell. Yeah. yeah I've never heard of good. I've never heard of this more cowbell either. It's a Girl Scout cookie and a G13 hash plant. Yeah, you can see the G13 in it. Yeah, and that that's probably what we're smelling and picking up on is the G13 in that. You're definitely not picking up on the Girl Scout cookies? No. Um bud structure says Girl Scout cookies cuz yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. You know, the small bud structure but density. Um so yeah, that's probably where it's getting its you know, its density, its bud structure from smell is probably coming from that g13 hash mm. plant um more cowbell from the smell and, and look of it and everything it was the one that was the most appealing for it to be that old let's fire it up and see what it tastes like Once again, not a very clean burn on that. Um, it tastes just like the other two. I mean, all of them taste identical. Old, outdated cannabis is all going to have a old flavor to it. Very nasty. Like, oh. I, I don't even know if this stuff would have tasted good when it was fresh. Most likely not. But I can't determine that until I try it fresh. This, as you guys see, going in the jar also. That is an extremely horrible, horrible product. Redwood Remedies. At this moment, I am going to say do not purchase their products. They're trash. They're guaranteed to be trash. Um, so, yeah, that also will go in the trash. Say, hey, I'm awake, and I feel good. Now it's time to get back.